Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're playing Unrestricted Pest Control. Um, auto shoot, sure, select control type. I'll, I'll kind of just, I'll get into it as a, uh, uh, for movement and right handling for mouse, for rotation. We'll do it to analog. But yeah, I'll get into like the description after we kind of get through this beginning part. Um... Skill, shoot, dash, or, okay, I guess we'll figure it out. Rooms, okay. Okay, so that's the auto shoot. So yeah, so this is kind of like, um, you go, you know, you have, you go through different rooms, you unlock new, new upgrades, things like that. Like, this is exactly what I mean. Uh, upgrades like this. And yeah, you, you just, you beat enemies and you go through different, okay, he shoots out, okay, that's great. Um, and yeah, you defeat enemies and you just go through like this. Dash cooldown, yeah, we'll, we'll go for the dash cooldown. Can I just move on? I can, okay. Not sure what like those symbols. Oh, it's just it's sideways. Okay, I was like, are those symbols or something on the wall? But that that's weird to have it sideways like that. I feel like it should just be like like upright and things like that, so you can actually. Okay, I just ran into that guy. How do I go up this way? So one, three. So this is the f third floor. Okay. And this is the fourth one. Oh, zero, zero, four. Sorry, my bad. I don't know why I thought that was a one, but I'm stupid, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if I get anything for progressing through the floors. Doesn't really seem like I do. Just seems like the only thing that actually you benefit from are just killing the enemies, so. Okay, on to room six. Not sure when things are supposed to get harder, but so far it just kind of seems like mostly the usual, the same, same old, same old. Oh! Okay, now we're, now we need to kill seven things. Okay, that's, that's one thing that's different. Yeah, now we need to kill eight things. Is that like a landmine or something? Because I can't shoot it, so. Looks like something that, like, would... Yep, okay, it explodes. That was right. Let's go for more damage. Ooh, we one-shot things now. Okay, yeah, that's actually going to be super nice. Oh, hello, sir. Do you... Okay, you shoot. You fire. You fire back. You fire back. Okay. Not exactly what I was expecting, but okay. Harness the shield skill to develop yourself in an impervious barrier, warding off harm for a limited duration. Unleash the circle of death, or le lethal spheres orbit you, dealing relentless damage to any foes that dare to approach. Achieve godlike firepower as you invoke death shot, elevating your weapon's might to 20 fold and becoming an unstoppable force of destruction. Ignite chaos with the different. Um. I'll probably go with Circle of Death. So it just. It does. So I can just run towards enemies? Nope. Never mind. Can't just run towards them. I'm taking a lot of damage. I really hope there's a way to heal. We're gonna add 10 to my maximum health. I wanna go down. Let's see, what's down here? Or is this just easier enemies down here? 
Is that what that... Oh, yeah, I go back to the... Ah, okay. So this is just... Yeah, these are just easier enemies. Which isn't really what I want to do, I don't think. I think I would rather the harder enemies. Because I'm assuming they get more experience, right? I would check, but... Yeah, they get four instead of two, I believe the other guys give. What in the world? I feel like my hitbox is much bigger. Uh, okay. Hey, right, we'll we'll do we'll do one more. We'll do one we'll do one more. Oh, now we have access to that up there. Did we always have access to to that? Maybe we did. We probably did. Because, yeah, these guys only give two experience. And then the guys up here... No, we didn't always have access to this. this is, so we just got access to this. Okay. See, these guys up here give double the experience, but they're a lot harder to actually kill. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. I don't really think I want to be up here yet. These guys are really hard to kill. Oh wait, but we keep our stuff. Okay, let's go with recover some health. Yeah, there's so many enemies starting to spawn in there that I'm gonna try to just move on. So even if you die, you just start over where you last were, I guess? Like, you you keep keep your upgrade and stuff, you just kind of, like, start over from the first floor again. It kind of seems like how that works. Okay. Yeah, and you, like... S I'm a little confused how this works. Because, like, I, I'm keeping my upgrades. But I'm also starting over. Like, I'm keeping my abilities, but I'm not, like, keeping my upgrades. I'm not sh Okay. I'm, I'm not sure anymore. I'm really confused. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm keeping this ability thing, right? But, like... Oh, I should have gone for damage. Oops. I also don't think it decreased my... Oh, it did. It did decrease my uh, dash cooldown. Okay. I wasn't sure if it did. What's the... Okay, what's the point of, like, moving this way? Do these guys give more experience? No, they still just give two. So what's the point of going this way? If all these guys just give the same amount of experience, then what's the point of... Going different path, or like going this. I don't. Okay. I guess it's just about clearing the floor as fast as you can. It doesn't seem like it really does anything, I'll be completely honest. Oh my gosh. My gosh, I cannot aim. I add 10 to my max health. Oh, I guess I'll just sit in here and farm for a little bit. I'm not too sure. Maybe, like, more enemies spawn, like, the further you go. Obviously, if you go up, then you have harder enemies. But maybe, like, this way, it's just, like, more enemies spawn. Like, if you go further, so, like, more enemies spawn. And 
like they spawn faster or something. I'm not sure. Kind of seems like they spawn faster. Other than obviously you do have the boss. Oh yeah, I forgot about the boss. Do you keep maybe your boss abilities? Like your skills? Is that what you keep? Because I just got that skill again. So I have no idea. What if I go back through and get the get another skill? Can I do that? Can I just go back through, beat the boss again, and get another skill? I guess we'll find out. If you're backing away as well, that's a little stupid. That it like you can't really control your you can't really control your um your aim. So yeah, I guess we'll just go through this as fast as I can, and then just hope for the best. Oh yeah, I forgot there's more stuff, okay. I'll go with more damage, sure. Doesn't really benefit me like in the earlier levels, but later on, obviously, more damage is going to be very important. Oh, zero out of zero to oh. Wait, what? I can just keep going? Um. If I go up, this doesn't seem, this doesn't feel right. Like, am I supposed to just be able to, like, go between them and, like, kind of, like, do whatever I want? I don't feel like I'm supposed to be able to do that. then that means that there's no like blockage like there's nothing stopping me from just moving on and doing whatever so I don't really know if that that doesn't really feel right yeah I'm very confused how this works I mean, I will fully take advantage of it, but that feels like a bit of a bug, though. Go with increased fire rate. Just gonna keep going for fire rate until we basically get, like, a machine gun. Obviously, I also need to make sure I don't die. So that circle of death thing might not be actually all that great. Because the guys that are killing me are the guys that are ranged. And the circle of death thing only really applies to, like, melee guys. Which aren't much of a problem for me, so... Uh, go for faster fire rate. Doesn't really feel like my fire rate's changing all that much, though. I mean, it probably is... But I don't know. Maybe it is getting faster. I'm just not. It's just so like minor that I might just not be paying. Like might not be noticing it much. That's probably the case.
I'm just hoping that there's not, like, too much of the game that's, like, broken. I don't know if it's a bug that, like, I can just go to whatever room I want to go to. Or the fact that I didn't get to choose an upgrade right there. Did it choose an upgrade for me, or did I just not get an upgrade at all? Also, that thing apparently can't be destroyed. Okay, and those guys just destroyed each other. Oh, yeah, because I just spawned behind him now. Yeah, that's definitely not supposed to be how that works. We'll go with the shield. Oh, so it gets rid of my old upgrade and or old skill and replaces it with a new one. Okay. I'm very confused on how this game works. Oh, so I have a shield. Is this a permanent thing? Like, I just have a shield? Or not a permanent thing, but I just mean, like... Does it just stay with me until I get hit or something? That's kind of what it seems like. I also don't like that it sh it goes to like your the cooldown resets upon entering a new floor. That kind of seems stupid. Yeah, so it just so it just stays until you get hit by something. Okay. Uh, we'll go for more max health. Just minus five on the dash doesn't actually seem that good. Here's how much XP those guys give. They probably give like if I had to guess six, I would hope that they would give eight, like, you know, twice as much as this level, and then it just keeps multiplying by two on each level, but it probably doesn't. If I had to guess, probably only give six. It doesn't even give that. It gives four. Wow. Wow. Wait, does it? It really only does get four. This is a harder level, and it gives the same amount of experience. I'm gonna be completely honest. That doesn't make any sense. Also, sometimes you just take damage through the shield, which doesn't make any sense. Like, I took damage even while I had a shield out. And there I just took damage while I had a shield out. Also, sometimes you can kill two enemies with one bullet, which is weird. It appears that there might be some bugs in this game. Get, get it, because... Fast, con fast control. Okay, just gonna keep trying to increase my fire rate. Again, I hope that it's changing. I'm hoping that the, it going down by two is a good thing. I, I think it is. Like, it feels like it's getting faster. Not by much, but a little bit. Also, if it really does go down by two each time, does that mean that it's going to get to a point where I can just have zero attack speed and it just is like a rapid fire machine gun? So I don't, I'm not sure how the, if that actually is going to be how that works, but... Also, I would love a way to actually heal rather than just have to rely on the skill upgrades to heal, because that doesn't seem very reliable.
Let's reduce the dash. I'm curious if reducing the dash cooldown is like another thing that like stay that like stays over. Because if that's the case, if it does stay over like that, then that's gonna be pretty strong. Yeah, let me um, go this way and then just destroy these guys and then go this way. I'm just curious, like how many thing, how many different ways I can exploit the game, pretty much at this point. Oh my gosh. My aim is not great. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, I forgot there's still gonna be more. Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, there's two guys that spawned right there, and I killed them both. Okay, now we're on to this guy, which, yeah, makes sense. Does he give any experience? Okay, if I go back through here again, can I just... Doesn't it... Don't you have to beat them once and then it lets you go through them, like, like just go past them, basically? Isn't that how that works? I don't remember exactly what I did to, to make it so that I could pass through, but I think that's how I did it. Was you just beat them once and then... It allows you to uh, do the thing. Also, how have I been healing? Is it whenever you beat the boss you heal or something? Oh yeah, it probably is. If you beat the boss, then you then you heal up. That would make sense. Because it sends you to a different floor, so it just like automatically heals you and just makes it like just acts like you just you just spawned in. Can I? I can't aim, okay. And then those guys are dead. That guy's dead. Let's I have to do something else, I guess. Yeah, see like I just I just keep getting the same skill. It doesn't do anything. Doesn't even seem like he even drops any experience either. And even if you pass through here, it's like you can just kill the things and then even if you skip through the level and things like that, it's like doesn't really mean anything. Like I can just go through these ones. It seems like the only the whole point of this is just kind of like Um just like See how fast, how quickly you can beat the level. That's all the, the whole point of this game just feels like, see how fast you can beat the level. That's, that's really just about it. So I guess it's like, like this game, I guess it could be fun, like for speedrunners. Just see how fast you can complete each level if you're a speedrunner. But that's quite literally... The only part of this game that I'm seeing could be like possibility for like why some of the things are the way they are. Without without saying, oh yeah, the person who developed this game is I mean I mean I understand. It's it's 
it's a new newer game you know it's not f I don't I'd have to check actually to see if it's fully out yet I don't remember if it is I'll check after this though why do I keep going back back here I already know that it's just gonna keep being the same thing over and over and over again here hold on let me um yeah let me um see when this game came out Um, yeah, actually, it's $5 on Steam, so it's been out since early January, so, I don't know, I mean, it's a fun game, I definitely see a lot of, like, um, a lot of potential in it, I'm not saying that it's, like, a bad game whatsoever, I'm just saying that there's a lot of polishing that could be done with it. And a lot more aspects that could be added to it to make it a game that actually will actually want to be played over and over and over again. Because <coughs> right now it just kind of seems like you play it once and you can kind of skip most of the like hard enemies and like the hard levels because you could just go from level two go from level two like uh level two room eight and then skip like beat all the enemies in there skip to level uh level three room eight immediately and skip all of the all of the level three enemies just go straight to Level th or uh, yeah, level three. Level three enemies just skip all the way to uh, room eight, and and that's it. Or floor, I guess I could say floor three, room eight. I guess that would make more sense. Also, this thing has very high health. Wow. He just shoots around in a circle. Okay. Adds 10 to maximum health. I guess I'll go with that. I wish it, always, it would also heal me for 10, but that's fine. Yeah, even those guys only give 4. Seems like everything just... Floor 2, I'm hoping things on floor 4 are going to be a little bit different. Yeah, see, you, it requires so many. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to floor 2. I'm going to defeat all the enemies until I get to floor... Actually, I could just go back to floor 1. I could just do that and really speed run this. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do instead. That's so much faster and so much easier. If I just go back to floor one. Defeat defeat all the enemies in there and then... Because yeah, it only takes five. Five enemies defeated. To get to room six on floor one. And then now I'm on to floor... Uh, now I'm on to room six. And now I'm on to room seven. Then once we hit room eight, then I'll then I'll move on to um, floor two. We do need thirty-four, but these guys are so easy that it doesn't even really matter. Because you would need a lot to progress from. Room eight on floor th or uh, room seven on floor uh, floor eight. Um, oh my gosh, room seven on floor three. You would need a lot of kills anyways to get from that to room eight. So uh, honestly, the thirty-five kills that you need for this one, I'm not really that surprised. 
And I feel like it's, all, it's also going to be a lot easier to do it on here. So now we just need 40 more kills. Which shouldn't take us long. I do like how you can just kind of trigger the trigger the mines. You have to be careful though, because if they get triggered before you walk over them, and then you try to walk over them, that could be a death sentence very quickly. And there we go. Now we're on to floor eight. Just like that. That easily. Didn't have to go through the whole nonsense of killing killing enemies on floor three until we get to floor until we get to room eight. You can just kill things. On the lower floors where enemies are easier. And then just kinda cheese your way to uh to floor three. And you can kind of just use the mines as well. I mean, the boss obviously is going to be the hardest part. Yeah, I might as well use my shield, I guess. While I'm at it. Even though he hit me through the shield. And if I go for the shield again, then I don't really get anything from it. Yeah, but this is what I mean. It's like... Honestly, the... The tactic of this, of this is just... Go... Just beat the enemies in this, in this area. Go to floor one. Like, make your way to floor one. Defeat all the enemies until you get to room eight. And then... And then go back up to... The floor that you were on. That you started on. Yes, it might take a little while, but it's going to be a whole lot faster and a whole lot easier. Especially if your character is not super leveled up. So if you are, like, just starting, like, you could really just... You could very quickly and easily progress. Because all you have to do is survive the, the first rooms of each floor. And then... And then, obviously, you have to make it through the 8th floor, but as long as you can do that, then... Or the 8th room, then you're pretty much fine. You'll still need some upgrades, but I feel like even with, like, very few upgrades, you could probably get through um, the levels pretty easily. Especially with, like, the... Sh honestly, I would say get the shield, but the shield doesn't really seem to do much of anything, actually. Right, so, I don't know. Shield hasn't really been doing anything for me. I can, I quite literally can't hit them. Okay. I just couldn't aim. My aim right there was horrible. I'm not sh I'm honestly not sure if the later like I I I got to believe that like the lower floors are going to be are a lot easier to get through. Than the heart and then then the higher up ones. I, the only reason why I'm kind of contemplating it is because there are landmines, and the landmines do quite a bit of work to the enemies. Like the landmines absolutely destroy enemies. If enemies couldn't walk on landmines, then those floors would be so much harder to actually progress through. Oh my gosh, yeah, I just can't aim. I mean, I can aim at the enemy, but it just takes a second for it to actually fire. So I have to, like, wait. But half the time, I, I'm not patient enough to wait. And there we go. Now we're onto this floor. See, now, and the landmines are doing quite a bit of work. But yeah, see, now we need 50. 
kind of just relying on the landmines to do most of the work. Just gonna try to kind of hope that they that it does does good. And honestly, even if you made it, like, made this part cost, like, a lot, and, like, require a lot of enemies to beat, it's, it's still, like, it's still gonna be easier, obviously, maybe not the fastest path to get to the next area, obviously, to get to, like, you know, room, or floor, floor four, room eight, or whatever. I guess we're on to floor three, but... Yeah, it's like, I just made it here pretty quickly. Um, and it was very, very easy for me to do. But yeah, if I had to deal with this on each in each room, then I highly doubt I would have actually made it here. And even though it... Actually, for now, it probably is the fastest path, to be on, to, com to be completely honest. It probably is the fastest path. Okay, I'm going into this at 120 experience. I'm gonna kinda just see, I guess, if they actually do give experience, like these, the bosses. See if they do give experience. 120, nope. They don't give experience. So basically, late game bosses don't do anything. That's all I'm really learning from this, is that they are completely worthless. Uh, these guys, even at, at floor 4, they only give 6 experience. <sighs> We're gonna be here for so long. This is ridiculous. I mean, I guess you don't really have to go all the way back to floor one, especially if you have like a setup that's already one-shotting enemies, then there's not really going to be that big of a difference. Um, so you don't really have to go all the way back to floor one, because it, it probably does just take up way more time than it actually is like good for. Yeah, see, even with the shield up, I'm still taking damage, which makes no sense. How am I taking damage with the shield up? The shield... See? Okay, the shield doesn't do anything. The shield is completely useless. But yeah, and I would say just go back and... T go back to floors that, like, have... Like, that you can one-shot enemies on. So if you can one-shot the enemies on this floor, I would say go to this floor. And then just progress through there. Unless you think a uh, different floor is easier, or like if you're worried about dying or whatever in this floor, then... Obviously just go back to the floor that you think is the easiest. For, like, not the easiest, but the one that you can get through without risk of risk of losing. So right now, for me, I would say this, this floor is probably gonna be the easiest. Or like, yeah. I'm not really at risk. I'm, I'm not really worried very much about losing on this floor. So yeah, I could just kind of go through this one and then keep going through the different rooms. And it's also like more bugs are spawning. You also have the potential for the landmines, which the landmines can help take out enemies. It's like, yes, the, each, each room does require more enemies killed to actually get through it, but it's like, would you rather, I don't know. I feel like that, I feel like that's still easier to do. I feel like this is still like the easier path to take. I'm definitely 
after I beat the boss, I'm definitely choosing something other than this stupid shield, which does nothing. Like, what's it supposed to be blocking? I don't know. Let's just try to get through this. Um... What is that? Oh. Okay. Finally something that's actually interesting. Okay. No idea what it is. There's no description, nothing that actually described what it does. If I had to guess, maybe it slows down enemies when I when I shoot them. Obviously, if I wasn't one-shotting them, then it would be more effective, but... That is interesting, though. I did not realize that there was going to be things to pick up. I would absolutely... I would just love some, like, defense. Or some healing right now. That would be amazing. I would love... Actually, you know what? I would love a shield that actually did something. That actually worked. That's what I would love. Because right now I have 10 health... And I already know that if I get heat... I had... The shield was up. It just didn't do anything. <sighs> Anyways, my name's Sam. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Unrestricted Pass Control. Not a game that I'm probably going to play again. Um... Yeah. Um. This is this is just, that's just not a game that I'm gonna play again. Um. But if you guys want to play it for yourselves, it like I said, it's out on Steam. You guys are more than welcome to play it. Maybe you got you guys will enjoy the game more than I will, but I don't know. It, this just this isn't the game for me. But anyways, hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.